What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Daniel, aka Born, aka Burke, aka. It's 15th of May, 2017. I'm gonna start doing this vlog thing. I've been thinking about it for a while. I did a podcast uh, experiment over the last 100 days or so. I did one episode of podcasting a day, so I'm thinking maybe I could do three vlogs a week or. I don't know, I haven't worked it out yet. So I'm just gonna try this one, upload it, maybe it's a few minutes long, see how it goes. And yeah, so what have I been up to? Well, over the weekend, I did a, a hackathon, my first ever hackathon. It was so much fun. So what's a hackathon? It's where you go, you meet some people, you form a team, or you go with your already made team. And the goal is you build something over a weekend and then you present or however long the period of the hackathon is. For me, it was a weekend. So got there on the Saturday, uh, started coding on 12 at 12 noon on the Saturday and then everything would be frozen. Your code stops at 1 p.m. on the next day. So, so much fun. First ever time. I have barely any experience with coding. So I was going in as a novice. I had some design experience, some entrepreneur experience but it was so much fun. Met, met some great people. I went by myself. There are a few teams already there. It was relatively small for a hackathon, I, I found out, because it was my first one. I didn't know really what to expect. So this is about 38 people at the Brisbane Angel Hack. Shout out to all you guys. And yeah, my team, I ended up pitching for my team, so I, we had to do a two minute presentation and a demo of what we'd built. The, the web developers on my team did an amazing job of, of building an actual pro <laughs> demo uh, that I was able to present. I got some good feedback on my public speaking skills, so that was, that was thumbs up. What could I improve on? I think next time voicing my ideas and opinions and stuff like that, I think it can improve on that next time. And also being able to contribute to the developer side of things. I want to be able to build things next time. So that's what I've been started recently is 100 days of code. Today is day four. I plan on coding for the next 96 days, at least a little bit each day. So what have I been up to today in particular? Well, this morning, I started out with some Python and 100 days of code. I'm writing about it on Medium, so you can check that out. And now Udacity assignment, workout, machine learning. So I'm actually doing the Udacity assignment right now. I'm training my neural network here getting some live help because I'm struggling a lot. As you can see, I've spent like, I don't know, almost four hours total on it today. I submitted it once a couple of days ago, got, got returned, got some feedback on it, so I need to update it and fix it. Been doing a lot of training, so training the neural network. I'll do some more videos in the, in the future on what machine learning is, what deep learning is and stuff like that. But while it's training, because it takes so long to train, I figured I'm gonna do a workout. So I got trusty stick, workout mat. I'm gonna do some push-ups, some pull-ups, some whatever, and I don't know. I figured kill two birds with one stone, so I'm multitasking right now. My neural network's training on the computer, and I'm gonna train my body by working out. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll hit you guys up if once I've submitted it again. Hopefully, I can get it done within the next few hours. So, mid-workout, my model finished training, but it's not as accurate as I wanted it to be, but nonetheless, I've been working on this for about nine to 10 hours now, and I think it's time to, to upload a, a new submission for my assignment rather than keep going for, it could be, I could be here all night, just continually training and whatnot. So, here we go. Image classification, uploading, I confirm that it's mine. Submit. Woohoo! Should hear a response in 24 hours. Hopefully this one's a bit better than the last one. But I'm gonna get back to my workout and I'll 
catch you in the next video. Day five, 100 days of code. I'm really excited. I just got out of bed and I passed my second assignment on the Udacity deep learning course. Me specifications. Not the best marks ever, but nonetheless, I put like 20 plus hours of work into this project just because I'm such a novice. I don't know how to do everything properly and advanced yet. So I'll keep working towards that. Today I'm gonna to be studying machine learning on Coursera. I've got a lot of that to catch up to. And I've been reading a lot about becoming a data scientist because I figured that's, that's somewhere where it can be applied to almost any field, right? So if you're a data scientist, you can use those skills in almost any field, like public speaking, right? You can use public speaking in almost any field. So yeah. I don't know, I've been reading a lot about that, but I'm gonna go do some more study and see you in the next clip. I was at the library most of the day doing machine learning study. It's getting quite complicated. Uh, what did we work on today? I studied using Octave and MATLAB, which are both um, machine learning, well, what the course asked for to use as libraries. I think Python and R are both the, two of the main languages for machine learning these days. I'm even, actually, I wanna tell you all, I'm starting a, like a medium series. Every day I'll just do a few lines and a few words of on medium.com slash at the at symbol, Mr. D Burke, M-R-D-B-O-U-R-K-E of what I'm doing, how I'm learning code. So as you can see, writing in here, today was day four. Actually, no, yesterday was day four. Today's day five, Coursera. So I'm doing my first uh, machine learning programming assignment, linear regression. There's MATLAB, and I've got Flux on my Mac, so hence why it's such an orange color. If you've never used it before, check out FDOF Lux. But I'm about to go read, go to bed. I'll upload this video in the morning. And yeah, I'm, I'll start getting a schedule when I'm uploading these videos, I don't know yet. Um, and I was, I've done more research into learning about data science. I either want to start my own startup or work for a startup, so that's my plan in the next year or so. So I say so a lot, I gotta get rid of that.